Hi folks, in this video, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to convert your QuickBooks desktop file, your QuickBooks desktop data over to QuickBooks Online. First of all, you have to create a brand new QuickBooks Online account, and you do that by going into, into the QuickBooks website. I'll put a link on the description below. If you're gonna sign up for the first time, use my link, because it'll give you a 50% discount for 12 months. Anyway, you're gonna pick the right version, and you're gonna click on try it for free so you can create an account. Then you're gonna enter your email, phone number, password, create the account. Of course, if you already have an account, you'll skip all that because you'll know your username and password. Once you know your username and password, you can go back into your QuickBooks desktop. You can click on the company menu on the top and then go down to the very last one right under the company menu called export your company file to QuickBooks Online. You're gonna click on that. Then it might ask you some questions in the process. Right now I'm gonna click on move now because I already have a existing QuickBooks file. I'll click on that. And then it says, do you already have an account set up? So I'm gonna click yes, sign me in, and then click continue. Again, use my link if you're setting it up for the first time so you get a better deal. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And then you're gonna log in with that account you created and then click on sign in. Enter your security code, continue. Then it's gonna say, hey, there's a couple of accounts set up under this file. Make sure you select the correct one. Make sure you don't mix or, or upload the data into uh, the, the wrong file, assuming you have multiple ones. So I'm gonna click here, it says Hector's Consulting Business, because that's the one that I just created. And then I'll click on continue. Then it says, Make sure you know and understand that by doing this, you're gonna lose any data that might be already in that file. So we're assuming there's a brand new account with no data. So I'm gonna type agree, and I'm acknowledging that anything that's there already will be lost, right? So again, we're assuming that you started brand new from scratch. Now, quick clarification. When I mean you're gonna lose the data, I'm talking about the data that might be in your QuickBooks Online account, not your QuickBooks desktop. The stuff that's in the QuickBooks desktop will be there forever. You're gonna have that permanent backup. You can use that data in the future if you want to, but once you convert to QuickBooks Online, the idea is that you no longer work on desktop and whatever you have in desktop could be an archive or a backup. But uh, what I was referring to losing data, we're talking about anything that you may have already uploaded or entered or keyed in or set up in your online uh, file, in your online account. So once it's done doing the setup, you're gonna click on got it. Then you're gonna go over to your email and you're gonna get an email that says, congratulations, your data is now available on QuickBooks Online. So right there, the email is basically letting me know at this point, this is ready to go. You can click on complete setup and that will jump you to the login so you can log into QuickBooks Online. Then your next step is to go into your reports, compare your profit and loss, the balance sheet, make sure all the data went up and see what the potential Difference is uh, the conversion tool is not perfect. Many times there'll be information missing. That's a long conversation. I'll put a link in the description to an article that kind of explains what you lose in the process of converting from desktop to online. But just to do a quick verification, I'm gonna go into my chart of accounts and I'm just gonna compare the chart of accounts that's there versus the one that I have in my QuickBooks desktop. So I'm gonna go into list uh, chart of accounts and I'm gonna go through the accounts and if it's the same exact account structure, it's very likely that the data uh, went up there. Now that doesn't guarantee that all the transactions went up there, but at least the structure went up there. Let me check my item list as well. I'm gonna go here to where it says uh, products and services and there's my item list. I'm gonna go back into my QuickBooks desktop, go into list, item list, and make sure that's there. You can do the same thing with your customer list, your vendor list, and again, also your reports. And that's it, that's how you convert from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online. Check out the description, all the links that I discuss are gonna be there.